Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Incentive Concepts Live. It's Andy Hudson here, uh, your host again today. I'm the Director of Marketing, and we're very happy you joined us today for our broadcast. Another week, another broadcast. Very excited about today. And the goal of Incentive Concepts Live is to you know, provide a platform for all of you out there, our customers, our partners, to learn about our solutions and to discuss corporate gifts and incentives. So most importantly, to have a little bit of fun and learn a little bit about some of our brands, some of our wonderful gifts and incentives. I'm hoping that you'll feel a little more connected and engaged through this platform, especially during this time of social distancing. So I'm very excited about today's guests, but before we introduce them, just to go over some housekeeping details, um, we are streaming right now on incentiveconcepts.com backslash live. So if you are watching there, um, fantastic. There should be a chat bar underneath the live screen that'll allow you to chat. And we'd love to hear where you're uh, watching from, your name, and we're gonna be asking some questions throughout the broadcast too. So we'd love to, to hear from you there. We're also streaming on our Facebook page and Twitter Periscope. So if you're joining us from there, welcome. Um, with that, let's get started. So Briggs and Riley has been a partner with us at Incentive Concepts since 2009. And we really appreci appreciate our partnership with this wonderful global brand. They're an amazing uh, brand and wonderful people to work with. Today's guests are Sarah Williamson and Kim Biggs. And I'm gonna let them introduce themselves. So let me bring them on up here. Hey guys, uh-oh. And we have Vince McDonald on with us too. Sorry, Vince, we're, 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 you're leaving Vince. Sorry, my friend. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Hi. Vince. Hi, Andy. Hey guys. Hey, Vince, we didn't expect you on this broadcast. If you could kindly leave um, and join us over on Incentive Concepts Live. Hey, we're Thank just- you, Andy. I can tell you know what? Andy. We'd love to invite as many people out there to join us, but we didn't expect Vince. That's okay. We'll deal with it. <laughs> Hey, there, there goes Vince. That's okay. We love Vinny. So, um, uh, Kim, if you could unmute yourself there, and maybe you can give us a little bit of background on yourself, if you don't mind, Kim. Sure. Hi, everyone. I'm so excited to be here. This is just such a wonderful event. My name is Kim Biggs. I head up special markets for Briggs & Riley, and we're thrilled to be partners with Incentive Concepts. Your team is awesome. So we're excited for this event. Hope everyone's staying safe. And I'll let my favorite colleague introduce herself, Sarah. <laughs> Thanks, Kim. Hi, everybody. I'm Sarah Williamson. I uh, oversee our airport business development for Briggs & Riley. So I spend a lot of time in airports. For the past two months, I obviously haven't been in an airport. I've been working from home like everyone else tuning in. So, yeah. So great to be here, Andy. Well, thank you. And thanks to Kim for, for that wonderful introduction. And she's going to head on over to the live stream right now. So she'll be watching just like everybody else is. And she can interact with people as they're typing their chats. And so, um, so uh, you know, let's, why don't you talk about kind of what you're going to, what we're going to explore today, Sarah? Okay. So most of us probably tuning in are road warriors or serious travelers. So today I'm going to be showing you how I pack for a week long trip in a carry on set. So my wheel piece and my personal piece. So we'll get into those in a second. But yeah, week long in a carry on. That's what I'll be showing today. And then when I'm done with that, we're going to get into some tips and tricks to stay safe on the road. Okay, fantastic. And Kim is still there with us on the broadcast. So um that's great. And let's see. So what have you got in your carry on there? Do, am I, there's something special in your carry on or? Yeah, yeah, there is Andy. I actually have my wedding dress packed in this carry on. So kind of a unique item. Um, it's not a big ball gown, but there is a full length wedding dress packed in my carry on. I was fortunate enough back in November to be sent to Hawaii for work. I know it's so terrible. So yeah, I was sent to Hawaii for work. So I packed this bag for a little bit of fun, a little bit of business. So you'll see how I did that. But yeah, there is a wedding dress packed in here. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Great. Well, congratulations, by the way. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. We did get married. I didn't just pack it for no reason. We did get married <laughs> while we were there. We eloped and got married. So um, obviously my fiance at the time went with me. So 
I had my stuff in my carry on set and he had his stuff in his. So yeah, it was okay, fun. Well, um, so uh, I, I really want to see how this do is done, but can you give us a little more before we do that? Why don't you give us a little bit more background on Briggs and Riley, if you don't mind? Okay, so for whoever's watching that hasn't heard of Briggs and Riley, a couple important things to know. We are, we are a 27 year old privately held luggage company based out of New York. We're sold all over the world. Um, we've received some fantastic ratings and reviews from both Consumer Reports and Wirecutter as the brand you need to carry and travel with. If you're a serious traveler, you need Briggs and Riley. Um, and then most importantly is our simple as that lifetime guarantee. No matter what happens to your bag, wheels, handles, if it's ever damaged, you can send your bag back to Briggs and Riley and we'll fix your bag for life for free. Wow, that's amazing. Um, that yeah. that seems is that pretty unusual in the in the luggage industry to have that kind of lifetime guarantee? Or? I mean, we're the only brand that offers it on everything we make, from a toiletry kit to a backpack to a tote to a carry on to a check bag, anything that says Briggs and Riley. So for us, we're the only one that does that in this in this industry. Yeah. Wow, wow, that's amazing. It's just, that's pretty unheard of um, with your competitors and all that. That's impressive. Yeah, so if my if my if my bag ends up damaged on an airline, somebody throws it off the plane, I can just send it right in to you guys. And yeah, you can just yeah, you can go to BriggsandRiley.com. You can call our customer service, um, and we'll fix the bag awesome. for free. I mean, yeah, it's unheard of. <laughs> that's that's amazing. Um, so before we move on, we really want to uh, maybe hear from some of our viewers out there. We've got tons of chats already, uh, Sarah, and people are, awesome. are tuning in saying hi to Vince, of course, because Vince <laughs> joined us a little unexpectedly. Um, we got a lot of people from our team here, a lot of uh, a lot of our customers, it looks like. So it's great to uh, it's great to see some of these comments coming in. But um, one thing we want to hear from our viewers is um, what are your travel plans for this summer? And of course, we're all dealing with the pandemic. I had personally two, um, two trips that we've kind of modified a little bit. We'd love to hear in the chat where you're planning on traveling and maybe how you're trying to get there. Is it by plane? Is it by vehicle? Have things changed? Maybe we'll get some unique comments out there. So we'll check back on that in a second. Um, I also wanna to mention today's giveaway, which Briggs and Riley has been great in partnering with us for this uh, wonderful giveaway today. So today we're giving away a, an amazing uh, Briggs & Riley Delve backpack, mm -hmm. um, which is the, one of the newest lines from Briggs & Riley, the newest line from Briggs & Riley. And we're also giving away a Rhapsody Essential backpack and that comes in three different colors. So if you're interested in um, entering for that, head over to incentiveconcepts.com slash backpack. And I'll put that in the comments as well during our next segment, and you can enter to win uh, either one of those backpacks. So that'll be kind of exciting. Which one would you want to win if you were selected there? No pressure, Sarah, but. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love the Delve. There's a really cool roll top backpack in the Delve series, which I think is just so unique and fabulous. It's definitely more for like gear and you know big Bose headphones and things like that. So yeah, I would definitely go with the Dell if I won, yeah. Okay, awesome, awesome. So make sure to head <laughs> over there to incentiveconcepts.com slash backpack. You're ineligible, Sarah, but. I know. <laughs> okay, that's okay. Um, so um, are you ready to you know, get packing and show us what you're, yeah. you're gonna pack? Okay. Let's get packing. So I have two bags. We're gonna start with the wheeled one first. So this one I'm just gonna set aside here. So the first bag we're, I'm gonna start with is our baseline 22 inch domestic spinner. This is our number one bag, number one carry on that Briggs and Riley sells. So a couple features on the exterior, you have, you have front pocket here. I like to stash a pair of either rubber flip flops or just flat rib, rubber flip flops there. We have this orange pocket right here. You can kind of see that lining is orange. It's shallow, it only goes you know, that far. This is called our speed through pocket. So I'm sure we've all been through TSA and you go through TSA and you have to get the containers and the bins and it's just a hot mess. So this actually solves your problem. You actually would take off your watch, your jewelry, your keys, slip it right in there, zip it shut. Your personal items are now in your bag already. You can sail right through TSA. So I'm going to take, take my watch back out and put that back on. So speed through pocket on the front, on the back, we believe you don't have to pack over 
those two bars in your suitcase. So we put them on the outside. It's called the outsider handle. It's a really strong plastic. You have your nice adjustable telescoping handle. And then we utilize the space here between the handles for, because I went to Hawaii with this bag, a travel umbrella. You could stash your sanitizing wipes here, a granola bar or some other small item, but it's just a great use of space between the handles. And then of course your luggage tag. So a couple features on the exterior. So let's go inside. This bag packed weighs about just under 40 pounds. So there's a lot of stuff in here. So first of all, you can see, I'll tip this up so you can kind of see how everything's buckled down there. You have this panel up here. This is actually a full suitor. I'm gonna unroll that in a second. There is a nice narrow pocket here. This is good for ties for, for, for our gentleman tuning in. I have my little jewelry pouch right there. And then I always travel with a laundry bag. So this will fill up with the dirty clothes as we go, but it just lives right there. Um, that's machine washable. It's a Briggs and Riley laundry bag, of course. So for all my hanging items, because I was traveling with a wedding dress, I have that right in here. It's hanging all the way down, but I just doubled it over. My blazer, because obviously I was working also. So there's a roll bar here and a tie down panel there. So I would just unroll the entire dress and it, it goes to the floor. But for packing purposes, I just kept it hanging nice and neat. Obviously I ironed this once I checked into my hotel and ha had it hanging up in the hotel room. But if you have you know blazers, suits, work dresses, you can hang everything right in here. There's about a two inch gusset so you can fit quite a bit. There is a third panel here, which is actually removable. So when I'm not hanging anything in the bag, I actually use it as a packing pocket. So I roll this up, roll this up, zip it away, and everything's nice and neat and hanging. So if it's, if like I said, if I don't use that third panel, I would just use this like a pocket. So I would slip some dirty clothes, anything I buy, so yeah, so that's our suitor section right there. So let's get into the main compartment. I do use these tie down panels when I'm packing. So this is all my goodies in my carry on. So I have a pair of shoes on my feet, the flip flops in the front and two more pairs of shoes. So that's four pairs of shoes in the carry on for a week. So that's quite a few shoes and I'm a size nine. So it's not like it's a small shoe. So my first pair of shoes, which I have tucked away in shoe cubes, these are Briggs and Riley shoe cubes. They're great for keeping your shoes separate from your clothes. So I just have a sort of basic pair of flats. Then I have a more formal pair of shoes for you know business meetings and the like. So a little uh, heel. So I like to pack them away so they're separate. So that goes right there. I have my flat iron, a full size flat iron. I have my toiletry kit right here. So this is our Rhapsody hanging toiletry kit. So it's really great because it hangs up. So I have my wet toiletries, dry, more dry goodies. And I can hang this right up on the towel rail or the hook in the back, on the back of the door in my hotel room. And it's a perfect shape. It's a nice square shape, nice and flat. And I've really streamlined my cosmetics overall as I've traveled more and more. So on the inside here, you can see I have all these packing cubes. So packing cubes are great. I have been in the luggage industry for over 10 years, which is crazy to me. Um, so when I first discovered packing cubes, I'm like, what is, this is crazy. They really changed my life. And I'm not just saying that they're a total game changer. They keep me organized. They keep everything right where it is. I mean, you can see there's no like, clothes spilling out of this bag. Everything's right where it should be. So this small one, um, these are my Briggs and Riley packing cube sets. They're, they come in sets of three and there's a carry-on set and a large set. This is the smallest one. So this is for my delicate items. This one right here. This I had like a maxi dress and some casual t-shirts for just, you know, running around, running down to the beach. This one is for all my work clothes. So I have two three work blouses and two pairs of slacks folded in here nice and neatly. A lot of people ask me like, what's better rolling or folding? 
it really comes down to the type of clothing it is. For my work stuff, I like to, you know, invest in a little more um, of those wrinkle-free, like J. Crew and Athleta. They have really good um, wrinkle-free workwear. So most of them, they're good to fold. Then lastly, this is called a double-sided cube or a clean dirty. One side has a coated material on it. So this was all my swimwear and some of my workout clothes. And then this side I had, you know, some shorts um, and a couple other tank tops right there. So really, really great. So I wanna show everybody what the bag looks like empty. So you can see in here, totally flat because that handles on the outside. So I'm not having to navigate around those. And I have my two panels out. So how I was able to fit all this and more was by using the patented compression expansion system in this baseline series. It's a ratcheting system where you actually use these two panels, you increase the shape of your carry-on. So I've added up to 34% more packing. That's a whole nother third of this bag. So you can see how deep that is. I wouldn't be allowed to carry that on, but I'll show you how I was able to carry it on. So I'm gonna repack everything. So I get these guys out the way and start layering in my cubes. And these cubes are designed to perfectly fit into our carry-ons. So one, two, so you can kind of see how I'm starting to build those layers. My toiletries are actually a little heavier than my shoes. So I put the heavier items towards the bottom half of my suitcase. These heels, the flats, the little delicate cube, and then the flat iron. And I just try to find a little hole for that plug to go into. So now I'm packed, but I like to shop when I travel. So here's all my goodies that I've bought on the road. So I'm gonna throw this in too, you know, t-shirts, chocolates, what have you. So I'm gonna expand these tabs out. Buckle, buckle, cinch those down. I like to use these because it's almost like a secondary layer and it holds everything in place. Nothing's shifting. When you have stuff shifting in your bag, that's what causes wrinkle and damage. So now I'm going to zip this all shut. So you can see this is too big. I would not be able to carry this on. I'd have to pay like $100 and then check it and just all kinds of issues. So all I do is I compress on the bag. Oh. Down like so. So now it's back to carry on. So it's a little easier wow. if you get them together, but just like that. Now my bag's back to carry on and I'm good Ooh. to go. Yeah. That is unbelievable. Yeah, and it's pretty, it's pretty moly. amazing. Gosh, I gotta get me one of those. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you do. So Actually, probably I gotta get my wife one actually to clarify. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yep. For, the shop, for the shopping <laughs> part. And for, yeah. I wanna apologize. I, I want to apologize. We're all working from home right now. So if you're hearing really banging noises here from my home office, it's because we got construction going on right next door, but we're all dealing with that. That's okay. But uh, wow. You know, those packing cubes seem to really help kind of keep things organized and really, um, you know, uh, allow you to be organized and, and give you more space. So Absolutely. They keep like, I like to use them my pack, you know, by day or by outfit or, you know, workwear by casual wear workout clothes, they're so, they're so smart and they just really keep you organized. They help you actually pack less because once it's full, you're like, okay, that's plenty, you know? So yeah. they're a great, great, great system. That's fantastic. Well, thank you very much. Let's, um, let's see if people have commented on my question from earlier, if you don't mind, Sarah. Yeah. Um, so Teresa says she's heading to Miami, possibly from Charlotte and she'll drive. Um, Kimberly, is flying to DC for a trade show. Good to hear there's a trade show going on, Kimberly. Uh, and then driving in the Southeast part of the US for fun, Alabama, Florida, Georgia, Mississippi, Asheville, North, North Carolina. Take me with yeah. you. That sounds like yeah. a good thing. <laughs> um, and a lot of other people tuning in. Rebecca says an incentive to be more organized. Love it. Perfect, Rebecca. Thank you. That's an that's that's the perfect way to say it. So yeah. Um, and then Missy says my husband is a road warrior and he only uses Briggs and Riley. Well, Missy, good for him. 
All right. And we yeah. love, we love <laughs> road warriors. <laughs> so um, yeah, great. Um, so it's great to see so many people tuning in. Make sure to head over to incentiveconcepts.com backslash backpack. And if you're just tuning in, it's Andy Hudson here, and I'm with Sarah Williamson from Briggs and Riley. Um, we just went through her packing um, everything she took on a business trip slash eloping for a wedding <laughs> in one carry-on. That was amazing. Mm -hmm. I assume you had unpacked since your wedding. That's not like <laughs> yeah yeah this the, yeah I, we got married in November so yeah this had was unpacked entirely and I had my okay. dress cleaned and everything so for this event I just repacked it as if I was going back to Hawaii okay so, okay all right yeah. well don't tell your husband that you're getting ready to pack to go get married again we'll just <laughs> <laughs> all yeah. right so what about this other bag you have it looks like you just pulled it off uh, pulled it up front there tell us about that yeah one. so this because I mean, if you're on a plane, you're traveling with two bags, your personal bag and your carry-on. So our carry-on's done. So this would be my personal bag or my handbag. I like to use a really nice large tote, which is exactly what this is. It's the essential tote from our Rhapsody collection. Um, I have it in the navy blue. It also comes in a really pretty plum and a black. Um, so this is great. This would be the bag that goes under the seat in front of me with, you know, work items, laptops, all those things. I try to avoid getting up on the, on an aircraft. So that stays overhead and I don't really get into it. So this would be the bag with all my essentials. So I'm going to hold it up, see if you guys can kind of see there's lots of compartments and pockets. So there's a panel in the back here for a laptop. I threw my tablet in, files you know, my, uh, my notebook for meetings, my Briggs and Riley catalogs. And then I actually threw in a third bag. So I'm actually traveling with three bags. This would be my little crossbody bag that I throw over if I'm running into the store or running into to pick up dinner or whatever. Um, this would hold my wallet, sunglasses, sunglasses and all those, you know, small items. Um, there's a center pocket here, which is good. Also, if I wasn't traveling with that, I'd put my wallet in here because it zips securely. Um, snacks, anything sort of personal that you want kept securely. I have sunglasses, my big Bose headphones, my water bottle, my electronics, because I want those here. Um, usually if you pack electron electronics in your carry-on, a lot of them you may be flagged um, for additional security because they can look a little strange on the x-ray. Business cards, more Briggs collateral, um, and then in the front pocket here, I have the most important items, my mask for when I'm on the road, because now most airports are requiring masks, and then my sanitizing wipes. So wiping down the tray table, the seat, those just live right in the front so I can grab them easily. So this has two tabs. I can securely close the top of the bag. And then the really cool thing is these bags, pretty much all Briggs and Riley accessory bags work with our wheeled pieces. So this will actually slide over like so. So now I can maneuver through the airport just with one hand. I'm not having to, you know, get, get tied up with multiple bags. So really easy to maneuver through the airport just like this. So that's my complete carry on set. And there's three bags, four pairs of shoes, a wedding dress, work clothes, um, and everything I need for a week and souvenirs for all your friends and, and souvenirs. Yeah. And oh uh, yeah. Souvenirs. And that's yeah. a, that's a Rhapsody tote. Rhapsody. Yeah. So it's from the Rhapsody collection. It's called the essential tote. And what colors does it come in? So this is the Navy blue. This is the plum. I actually have the plum in the. Oh, right. Right. Yeah. That's the plum and then all black. So awesome. these, the plum and the Navy are a little more jewel toned. Do the, do the um, carry-on, that which is baseline, I think, um, do those come in different colors or is it just black? So baseline comes in three colors. This is the black, then there's a really pretty olive green, and then we have a navy blue with some chrome detailing on the zippers. So there, there are three colors. So you could do this carry-on in navy and sort of mix and match it to the Rhapsody navy and have sort of the same tone. Yeah. yeah, some people so like to color color match. If you wanted all monochromatic, you could do that, or otherwise you could just kind of mix it up. That's neat. Um, yeah, great, fantastic. Uh, let, let's just see if there's any other comments here. That's a great looking bag, by the way. Um, Thank you. I actually have a question for you, Andy. 
Oh, that's not what how this, is, that's not how this is supposed to work. <laughs> I know, but I want to know what is your favorite Briggs and Riley bag? Um. Oh. Oh. You know what? I have uh, actually. I have it right here. <laughs> oh, it's kind of. It, um. I. Oh, geez. I wasn't ready for this, but. That's okay. That is the at work cargo so, backpack. That's in yeah. the gray color. Fabulous. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's a at work backpack. It has my initials on it, which is really cool. Yeah. Um. Thanks to you guys for hooking us up with those initial things. But those are great. Thank you. I didn't realize yeah. you were going to do that. I would have like <laughs> zipped it up all the way. <laughs> I know. I wanted to put you on the spot. Yeah. So that bag, my husband uses that bag too. He's a high school teacher. So he goes back and I mean, he was, he's now doing distance learning, but he, when he was in school, he'd go back and forth with his lunch and his paperwork. So he uses that bag too and loves it. So that's a great choice. Oh, good. Well, I'm glad I had it here by me. Like it's, yeah. it's been sitting right next to me ever since this work from home thing started. And uh, right. When I go into the office, I take it with me, but um, I've been, I think I've been into the office two or three times in nine years. So it's not like it's going anywhere. Yeah. Um, awesome. All right, let's see what else people are talking about. Um, somebody's heading to Northern Michigan at the end of June. That sounds beautiful. Uh, the Road Warrior, we talked about that. Judy says compression feature looks amazing. So easy it is. I've, yeah, for sure. Yep. Uh, Sarah demonstrated that. So, um, just one more quick reminder to make sure to enter our um, contest, and we are going to get into our next segment here in just a few minutes, but I have one more question for viewers before we get into that, and that is, what is your number one travel pet peeve, habit, or ritual that, um, that, that you can't, you know, travel or stay in a hotel without? Mine, personally, Sarah, is I, um, I unpack everything, even if I'm staying in a hotel for one night and I put it, I either hang it up or I put it in the dresser and my wife thinks I'm crazy, um, but I don't like living out of a suitcase. So that's okay. my, do you have one or? Um, I like to make sure I'm higher. Like if I'm checking into a hotel, I don't like to be on the ground floor. I like to, you know, be on like two, three or four, just a little above the street noise that's going on. So yeah. Okay. I guess, you know, that would be one of the things I do. But I also have a bunch of other things I do when I'm checking into my room that I want to make sure that we go over. Okay, so let's so, do that. And while she's getting ready for that, put in the comments, folks, what's your pet peeve or travel habit or ritual that, that drives your spouse crazy like I drive my spouse <laughs> crazy with mine? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right. Go ahead, Sarah. Tell us what you Okay. Got. So these are the tips that or the routine hacks that I like to do when I'm checking into a hotel room. You know, you're away from home, so you have to sort of settle in. So this is what I do. Keep in mind some things now when we travel again in the future, we're a little more mindful about sanitation and cleanliness. So, you know, the, these wipes are obviously the first thing. I wipe everything when I'm checking into my hotel room, the doorknob, the toilet flusher handle, the faucets in the, in the bathroom, the countertops, the nightstands, the light switches on the nightstands. I just go through and just wipe everything. And I know the hotels, you know, I, I, I'm a Hilton member and a Marriott Bonvoy member, but I just like to wipe everything down again myself. It just gives me that extra sense of security. So obviously wipes is the first Thing. Once I've wiped everything down, I like to sort of create a catch-all. I call it my catch-all area. So when you're going in and out of the room, you have your hotel key, your rental car key, your own car keys, you know, your wallet, your sunglasses, your phone, all those things that we go in and out of our hotel room, hotel rooms with, like they can get lost pretty easily. So I like to create one area, usually like by the TV, that holds all those items. So once I've cleaned that area, that's my catch-all area. I'm never like, oh my gosh, where's my key? Where's my sunglasses? Everything's right where it should be. Um, I then also, where's my remote? I put the, t the TV remote into a Ziploc bag. So I like to travel with a couple extra, just empty ones. You never know when you'll need one. Um, I've had a necklace break while I was on the road. So I just put all the necklace, the broken necklace in the Ziploc bag and was able to get it fixed. So Remote control, these are never cleaned. And we usually watch TV and use the remote after we've showered. 
So then you're touching the remote and then you're touching maybe your face. So not, yeah, just you're, be a little careful. <laughs> you're going to be my wife's new best friend with that. Too, right there. <laughs> okay. He does that. Good. Yeah. He, yeah. we, we always joke around saying if there was a, a, a life-size Ziploc bag, she'd get one and put herself in it in the hotel. Put myself in it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know quite a few of my Briggs and Riley family are tuning into this, and I know a couple of us do this. So, um, yeah, that's one. Of, that's the other one. The next um, thing I do is I actually move to the, the, the bed. I first put on my – I remove the pillowcase for, on the pillows and put my own pillowcase on the pillow I'm going to use that night. So I like to travel with one. Um, and then I just check the sheets. You know, I lift up the sheets, make sure there's nothing, no stains or anything. Obviously, if I find anything, I call the downstairs to the hotel and have them um, take care of it. But yeah, I just check the bed. You know, you're sleeping there. You want to make sure it's clean. Um, so once I've kind of cleaned, created my catch-all zone, you know, checked out the bed, I then get into unpacking my bag. I never, ever unpack on my bed or on the floor of a hotel. Your, ho your bed is firstly clean, we hope. And then the floors, eh, I mean, when was the last time a hotel floor was deep clean? We're not so sure. So luggage in and of itself can actually get kind of dirty, especially our wheels. I've wheeled my carry-on into the bathroom with me at an airport. Why would I then put it on the bed? Just putting that out there. Point. So I do not, unpack on my bed I always use the luggage rack that comes in a hotel room or a chair if there is no rack most newer hotels have a luggage rack built into the console I've stayed in a couple of hotels that do that which is fabulous so that's where I unpack and unlike you Andy I don't unpack if I'm staying for one night I actually will pack in and out of my luggage I just keep it propped open and I pack right in and out of it in Hawaii we we're in a hotel for several nights so I did unpack then because it was more than one night. And the cool thing about the cubes is you don't even have to unpack out of them. You can actually just take the cubes and set them right into your dresser drawers in your hotel and you're done. So that saved me. And then when we were transitioning over into an Airbnb, we just put everything back in the cube, you know, back in the bags and then on to our next destination. So that's, that's my little un unpacking thing. Um, you, you know, I'll hang up any items that I have hanging too. Let's, uh, hey, Sarah, we try to be cog cognizant of people's time here. So let's do one yep. more tip and trick. And then what I'm going to do is we actually have a document that are tips, okay. tips and tricks that you guys were kind enough to share with us. And I'll put a link to that in the, in the, in the chat so people can look up all of those tips and tricks via the chat. But give us one last, your favorite mm -hmm. one, okay? Okay, this is my favorite one because, you know, I wear makeup, I do my hair. So I'm really concerned about where those items go, especially makeup brushes. So I like to lay a towel down. So I kind of replicated this, a towel on the bathroom counter and just lay all those items out so I can see all of my cosmetics and my toiletries. So that's, that's my last tip, yeah. Okay, good. My, okay. Um, my, my towel would have like maybe three things on it because obviously I don't need to I know. I don't need to comb or anything, but, yeah. but my wife, yeah. when she, when she travels, she's got her makeup and she's got all, yep. of, her, all of her stuff. Yep. So good. That's great. That's fantastic. Well, let's go back to the comments real quick. Thank you for those. Tr I, I wish we could cover more tips and tricks, Sarah, but uh, maybe we'll have you back and we'll do more of those. But right. um, so let's go look at the comments again, because we asked people what some of their pet peeves were and some of these were, were, were great. First okay. of all, Kev Kevin Hagen from the Incentive Concepts team says, he does the same thing. He unpacks every time he gets into a hotel. That's why you and I get along so great, Kevin. I get a lot like that. Kimberly says she nests when she checks into a hotel room. No bottom room and not near elevator. So kind of like you, Sarah. Mm -hmm. um, and then Missy says, this, I thought this was great. Husband has to be first on the plane. And while he, well, she likes to be the last one on the plane. So you guys probably, oh. yeah. So that might be hmm. tough traveling together. And Aaron <laughs> Cook from the IC team, he says he's only likes the first floor. He hates elevators. Oh. So, anyway. How yeah. interesting. We all have our own little quirk. Yeah. Oh, and then Teresa says she does not like people who hoard up on the boarding line, but their boarding number is like seven or eight. So um, good. So yeah, we got to yeah. make sure we do that. So, well, those were fantastic, Sarah. Thank you so much. Of course. Yeah. Hopefully everybody learned something new or maybe you've already been doing these things, but that's what I do to stay safe on the road. And I travel, I mean, normally I travel all the time. So 
Yeah, I bet you this has been tough for you not having to travel. I mean, in a good way, it's probably some good, but it's probably tough. Yeah, it's just different. It's just the new, the new normal, you know? Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Um, I want to tell everybody what we have coming up. Um, and because we're going to keep doing these every week, and we'd love for you to tune in also, Sarah. Uh, next week on June 4th, we have our friends from Bose coming back, and they're going to talk about smart home uh, rewards. So Brian Surrett and Sean Mackey from Bose are going to join us again, and uh, Bose has some amazing smart home products. So um, they probably won't say uh, the dreaded Alex with an A word during the broadcast, because otherwise everybody's devices start lighting up. <laughs> Um, I won't say it either. And then on June 11th, we're really excited that we're going to have what we're calling our employee recognition virtual show. And our own Kevin Hagen is going to take my role and be the host. And then three of us on the IC team are going to explore some different gifts and incentives that are good for the stylish professional. We're going to look at stuff that's good for people that are spending more time at home, kitchenware and housewares. And then last but not least, fitness and wellness gifts, um, including like some massage chairs and stuff like that. So we're going to learn a little bit about that on June 11th. So you can go over to incentiveconcepts.com slash live and check out the information on those. Feel free to RSVP. One last reminder, uh, make sure to um, enter for those backpacks, incentiveconcepts.com backslash backpack. And um, I already see a lot of entries coming in for that. So that's great. And you'll win a Delve backpack or a Rapsi backpack. So um, anything else, Sarah, you want to share closing thoughts or? Um, I mean, I know this time is just so abnormal. And I know that we will be traveling again sooner than we think. So just continue to stay safe. Use your common sense on the road. And I'll, if I see you, say hi. Well, that's great. And we look forward to seeing you some sometime on the road. Mm -hmm. Um, yep. hopefully, hopefully we'll all get back there soon. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Well, that's a wrap folks. Thanks so much for tuning in. Sarah, thank you so very much. This was great. Thank you, Andy. I really enjoyed it. And, um, everybody, like she said, stay safe out there and take care. Bye-bye. Bye everybody.